Welcome back, welcome back everyone. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to update your Raspberry Pi 4, 400, 5, 500, 500 plus to Debian 13 Trixie. Simple commands on the Raspberry Pi website. So please follow along and you should be good to go. Now, please do keep in mind, if you're someone who made massive changes to your system, this will most likely break some stuff. But if you're someone like me who barely uses system for much, barely made any changes, this is gonna work perfectly for you. So let's jump in. I will put this link in the description and this is from the Raspberry Pi forum or the website. It tells you exactly what the commands are that you need to enter and exactly what will happen after you've entered them. So this was released on Thursday, October 2nd, 2025 at 7 18 a.m. So I'm going to scroll down. You can read all this stuff yourself. I'm just going to copy stuff across and show you exactly what's going to happen. So the first thing is sudo apt update. I'm going to triple click on this. That copies it. That highlights it. I can press Control and C to copy or I can right click and go to copy. From here on out, I'm probably gonna do Control C. I'm just so used to that. I'm gonna open my terminal window. I am gonna right click or middle click, either one works. So if you right click, you get the paste option, right? However, if you middle click, so if you click the middle mouse button or wheel, it will just paste everything straight away. So I'm gonna press enter, update done, perfect. I'm gonna go back to the website. I'm gonna triple click again, one, two, three, Control C to copy, go back here, middle click again to paste everything, press enter. Yes, I'm gonna update that. Press Y, then press enter. I'm using a decently fast wide connection i get roughly three to five hundred megabits per second from this so mine might be a lot quicker than the average once that's completed i'm going to go back to my website next it says we have to change every reference from bookworm to Trixie in this file here so i'm going to go to etc apt sources.list open that file and change every reference from the word bookworm to Trixie. so i'm going to go to etc here then I'm going to look for apt apt, which is that one there. And look for sources.list in this one here. I'm going to double click on it because it's a text file. I can simply double click. I'm going to zoom in so everyone can see what I'm seeing. And simply where you have the word bookworm, it needs to be changed to Trixie. Let me go back to the website just to confirm that. In the text editor installed on Raspberry Pi, you can go to where it says search. So once you've opened the text file, you go to where it says search. Then you go to where it says find and replace. What you're going to do here is search for, I'm going to search for bookworm and I'm going to replace every instance of that with the word tricksy. So I'm simply going to type bookworm in the first box and in the second box, I'm going to type tricksy, T-R-I-X-I-E. It told me straight away that I have six occurrences of this. So I'm going to click on replace all in and it says document, it's going to go through and replace all the words that are bookworm to Trixie. So I can see two here straight away. So there's one there and there's one just underneath it here. So if I simply choose replace all, that should get rid of the word bookworm and add Trixie. So let's click that. Perfect. That seems to have worked perfectly fine. I'm going to click on close. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to save to make sure I've saved this. It says that this document is read only. Do you want to save it as another file? I'm going to choose save as. And what you can do is simply save it as another name for now, then rename the other one. But I'm going to see if I can overwrite this. There's nothing important on my system so I don't need to worry about things being overwritten and being damaged to, to be rather than going in and changing everything manually for all the files I need to what I've done instead I asked chat GPT to make me a command that can do everything at once so I'm going to copy this I'm going to go back to my terminal I'm going to middle click I'm going to see if this works so it's going to change all the instances of the word bookworm to the word tricksy that's what's needed but I don't want to go through individual files and save an extra copy and overwrite words I'm just going to try it this way first if this works I'll put this on the website so you guys can copy and do exactly the same thing this will mainly only work for people who haven't done many changes to their installation yeah the command seemed to work perfectly fine so I'm going to put this on the website so you guys can have access to it then the next thing for me to do is to run sudo apt update so I'm going to copy that go back to my terminal middle click press enter yeah it's grabbing tricksy stuff I can see that straight away perfect everything seems to work fine on the website again it says remove obsolete bookworm code so i'm going to copy this again triple click go back here middle click to paste it i'm just pasting one command at a time and these commands seem to be working perfectly fine the only major change i've made is i asked chat gpt to help me make all the text file changes at once because i found it it would probably just be more efficient than going into individual files and saving different copies now let's remove all that stuff we don't need paste it there again Press enter. Yeah, all that seemed to work fine. Now I need to upgrade bookworm packages to Trixie. So I'm going to copy all of this, triple click here, copy, go back here, middle click to paste it. What I might do is if this works okay, I'm, I might combine everything into a single script that will just get everything done at once. So if you trust my script, if you trust the website, you can go ahead and just copy and paste it and it will do everything for you at once. 
this just popped up on my screen. I'm just going to choose yes because I have to. So I'm going to choose yes. It's at 0%. So this might take a while. It said on the website at some point. Let me go back and check. I think it said roughly 15-ish minutes. So I'm going to leave mine on screen running just so you guys can see the entire process. I'll obviously speed this part up. Okay, perfect that all seemed to work so moving on to the next step so after i've done that one i need to install new trixie packages so i'm going to triple click again to highlight all of this copy go back to my terminal paste it middle click again on the wheel press enter wait for that to do its thing i'm going to go back and check what the next steps are it's asking me about my configuration file i'm going to choose to install the package maintainers version just because i might give me newer stuff that my current version doesn't have so i'm going to type y for yes press enter Everything seems to have finished, so I'm going to simply reboot now. So I'm going to do sudo reboot now, press enter. Okay, let's see what's going to happen now. All right, yep, yeah, that definitely did work. It's booted. The icons have changed. So I remember when I did this on the SD card first on my Pi 500, the icons did look different and they look exactly the same here. So everything worked perfectly fine. I'm not going to go over all the features in this new version because I did that in my previous video. What I am going to do is again, put the commands in a single script, put that on my website. So if people want to go ahead and copy it or paste it or simply download the script and run it, they can go ahead and do that. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe.